all right welcome back over the last couple of video we got started with azure front door which is microsoft's highly available and scalable platform for acceleration of your application hosted on azure or somewhere else we had a demo wherein we saw how you could route your request to different geographical region and the nearest pop location would serve your request however all the process was fine it was created using the gui for the folks uh, intra or uh, devops engineers or system administrators looking for a way to automate the entire process uh, and uh, as a devops engineer we always look for the uh, opportunity to whenever we can automate the processes so this video is dedicated for them. We're going to use, uh, as always, uh, Terraform, which is going to be an infrastructure tool to automate our front door process. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to open my favorite ID, uh, which is going to be IntelliJ. Um, and I'm going to start creating a Terraform file, which is going to be main.tf. Give it any name you uh, could give and you could place it anywhere i've placed it in the, under the same same repository which i've been using to spin up different web application uh, first thing first i'm gonna use the version of azure rm by the way I'm, i would be following the documentation of terraform which is going to be azure front door uh, so keep the documentation handy which is going to be used again and again uh, we're going to create a resource group that's the first thing we always do code red rg and give it a location as probably east us and give it a name as front door tf and now the code which is going to create the front door which is going to be azure front door um i'm going to remove all of them because if you look at the documentation and the the auto completion they have provided it there's a mismatch so i'm going to manually enter them front door and we're going to start with the name which is going to be code red front door and the location which I'm going to select same as our resource group so it's going to be Azure RM resource group the name of the API then code red and the location resource group name which is going to be again Azure RM resource group dot dot name pretty simple enforce certificate check this is going to be false in case you're wondering how uh, uh, from where we're getting all the parameters you could always refer to the documentation and that's what I've, I've done and then we're going to have the routing rule now the routing rule going to have four parameters going to be uh, the name patterns accepted protocols and the uh, front end endpoint. So the name going to be give as example routing rule. Probably the first rule. We can have multiple rules uh, as well. And then the accepted product protocol is going to be obviously HTTP and HTTPS front end endpoints. Uh, that's going to be my we're going to have array of uh, endpoints example front door front end endpoint the first endpoint and pattern to match going to be all um, because manually also we had all the patterns inside the codes that's about it we're going to have a forwarding and inside this we're going to have a forwarding configuration uh, which is going to ask about the backend pool name it's going to be example backend give it any name and then there's going to be forwarding protocol 
which is going to be match request don't bother much about these uh, protocols you can always um, copy it from the documentation that's what I've been doing and then you can base this on your requirement you can always uh, just edit and use the naming convention basis your company wide um, naming convention whatever you folks use uh, health pro which is going to give it a name this is just a name uh, a starting name health probe setting one and then it's going to be back end load balancing which is going to be example load balancing settings one and now we're going to have the backend pool backend pool is the one where we define which backend pool we would be using to route our request to so that's going to be example backend bing that's the name we have given above um, the name going to be example health health probe setting and example so these names again could be anything basis on your organization naming convention settings one and then now the fun part the that's the back end wherein we're going to feed in our web application details so if you go to the portal and go to the app services i've got a bunch of app services i'm going to pick the host name of the app service so i'm going to pick the app service url paste it right over here and over here also without the https because we've already defined the protocol and the port's going to be 80443 and I'm going to use another backend because I've got two app services just replace this with two replace this with two and that's pretty much all we are going to define over here what we're going to do uh, so we've already defined the host name and everything what we're going to do is we're going to define the load balancing name example load balancing setting one and then the health probe okay we've already got it yeah we've already defined it right over here so we don't need one so we, what we need is the front door endpoint and you will see that the gray um, highlight has been it's not been there anymore so I'm going to give it a name of the front end endpoint which is going to be example front end endpoint one host name gonna be that's that's the that's the important part that's the host name which you would be using uh, to route your request remember we were hitting the host name of the front door which was taking the request to the backend uh, application which was the app services so that's going to be the host name code red front door dot azure that's going to be static azure fd.net and it's going to be false and that's about it um, looks fine however it's a long configuration around 50 55 lines so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, spin up the terminal do a terraform init and see what all bugs or whatever errors we have are we going to solve them together so it's initializing downloading all the modules we do a terraform plan now let's see if we have any errors yes we have got one 
on the line 11 it says that the accepted protocols are HTTP and HTTPS hmm there's a simple type over here and we run the plan again and wait for it to compile and let us know if there are any errors or any typos yep there are um, so it says that the routing rule example routing rule uh, was not found so if we go to the routing rule if we, that's our routing rule it says that the name of the routing rule was okay there are a bunch of typos which we're gonna fix um, looks like this was not found so that was supposed to be capital because you're defined with capitals uh, routing rule one it's gonna be again routing rule and if you go through these settings again there's a health pro with settings and if you see over here it should be balancing and a health probe settings right over here also now let's try to plan and see if there are any more errors be a little careful when it comes to the naming convention uh, try to follow the same naming convention which your company has uh, alright so we've got the plan successful and if you just elaborate a little you would see what it is trying to create so it's trying to create a front door uh, with the timeout as default a backend go pool is going to be this with backend is going to be the first app service with the second app service it's enabled at the moment health pro we are using all we haven't defined any filters over here custom endpoints and that's going to be our front door domain name that's about it let's try to plan apply it apply auto approve and this should be done within a few seconds and they should start creating the health probe and all the front door for us if we go to the front door there are no front door at the moment and it should start creating the front door for us yeah there's no front door it should start creating the front door for us it's gonna take few seconds and then front door gonna take a couple of minutes to globally launch all the pops all right so looks like the front door has been created let's go to the azure port and try to verify so we've got the code right front door if you go to front door designer uh, we should see all the backend pools and routing rules and front door domains we've cre created code red front door azure ft front door that's what we created defined over here we've got a bunch of routing rules azure back in bing if you go to the routing rule over here uh, you've got a example routing rule one that's there and in the backend pool you've got your example back in bing and if you click on the backend pool you would see that there are two app services which we have defined right over here one and the second one that's about it um, the path is slash all if you go to the overview again and try to hit the front door URL it should take us to the nearest app that's about it it was pretty easy to uh, configure your front door and automate the entire process of routing the request to the backend that's about it I hope this was informative 